Now, in the city of Sioux Falls, there were 6,398 active cases of COVID on January 7th. Now, just yesterday, there were 12,189 active cases have almost doubled in the past two weeks. With the alarming rise in COVID-19 cases in the city, we wanted to know what the candidates who are vying for the mayor's seat think should be done. Tanisa Islam, a lawyer who announced her run for mayor in October, says more information the people have on COVID-19, the better. She would like to see weekly updates from the mayor's office and... When the city council voted to encourage masking, the people of Sioux Falls listened. All they needed was that a little extra encouragement. Now, that was not a mandate, and I'm not talking about new regulations, but just the mere encouragement for people in our community to take this seriously once again, really explain how serious it is, it needs to come from the mayor's office. David Zokaitis is also running for mayor. He says science and common sense are the key to putting the Omicron surge behind us. The emotional side says this is a horrible problem. We need to do whatever we can and we need to do it now. The rational side of me says, well, but what can we practically do? Sure, we can encourage people to wear masks. We can show them how to wear a mask. But by the time that generates enough momentum and gets itself going into the group mentality, the surge is pretty much going to be over. Mayor Poulton Haken told us yesterday that he's in contact with the city's two hospital groups and says the city is using research to take a targeted approach to getting people vaccinated. The northwest quadrant of our city, for instance, has a much lower vaccination rate than the rest of the city. And so we've done research to understand why is that and how can we counteract the messages, whether it's uh, in some cases it's just availability. So we've stood up a mobile vaccine unit that goes out to those communities. The city's coronavirus resources webpage says the virus that causes COVID-19 is transmitted similar to the virus that causes the flu. The city encourages everyone to practice good respiratory hygiene, which includes proper hand washing, covering your cough, and staying home if you're ill. On a side note, Ten Haken says city departments are working with skeleton crews right now. Dozens of city workers are staying home because they've been infected or exposed to COVID-19.